OpenAI has just unveiled Chad GPT 4.0, their latest flagship model, which is twice as fast and more powerful than GPT 4. The great news is that it will be free to use. Previously, GPT 4 required a $20 monthly subscription, but now all the features of GPT 4 are available at no cost with GPT 4.0. These features include vision, allowing users to upload images and ask questions about them, browse, enabling real-time internet searches for up-to-date information, and memory, which can retain information about users. <laughs> Lastly, GPT-40 includes a feature for analyzing complex data such as Excel spreadsheets where you can ask it questions about the data. All these features will be available in the next few days. The presentation highlighted everything new with GPT-40 with the demo being particularly impressive. They showcase its ability to answer various questions, solve math equations, and read bedtime stories. The intelligence and responses are quite similar to GPT-4 which is likely why they didn't name it GPT-5. Interestingly, the most significant updates in GPT-40 are in its voice feature. GPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Now, response times with GPT-40 are as quick as 232 milliseconds, averaging around 320 milliseconds, which can match the average human conversation response rate. You can also interrupt the conversation simply by speaking, which feels very intuitive. They even added a disclaimer on the website stating that all their demo videos are played at real-time speed, highlighting the drastic improvement from the previous delays. This advancement is particularly impressive as the response time is now just milliseconds. Interestingly, the Humane AI pin which faced criticism online for its slow response time while running GPT-4 would have greatly benefited from GPT-40's faster speeds. Another notable improvement in GPT-40 is the emotional nuance in its voice, adding a more human-like quality to interactions. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? It seems like OpenAI has significantly increased the expressiveness and energy of this assistant. It almost feels like talking to a friend who is overly caffeinated and always energized, which might not be ideal for an assistant that should be more straightforward. Hopefully, future updates will allow users to customize the voice settings for a more tailored experience. In the demo, they showcase the ability to ask the assistant to change its tone. For instance, it could read a bedtime story more dramatically or even in a robotic voice. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, initiating dramatic robotic voice. One request was for maximum expressiveness, resulting in an exaggeratedly dramatic reading. Additionally, the assistant can apparently sing, adding another layer of versatility to its capabilities. You can judge for yourself how well it performs, but one example given was a robot named Byte finding another robot friend and living circly ever after. Additionally, there's a new feature within Vision where you can point your camera at something and ask the AI questions about it in real time, effectively giving the AI eyes. Aww. I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> Moreover, OpenAI announced a brand new desktop app where you can use all the same features including text input, speech input, and image uploads. The app also includes a screen sharing feature, allowing the AI to view your screen and answer questions about whatever you're looking at. This could be a significant productivity boost for anyone who spends a lot of time working on their computer. In the demo, they showed how the AI can analyze a graph you're looking at, which would be incredibly helpful for research and many other use cases where having a conversational assistant on the computer would be beneficial. For example, you could ask, can you find which one is the hypotenuse? And the AI might respond, I think hypotenuse is really long sign from A to B. Would that be correct? And you could confirm, well done. 
The O in ChatGPT 4.0 refers to its ability to process multi-model inputs, text, speech, and vision within the same neural network unlike previous models that handled these inputs separately. Previously, voice features in versions 3.5 and 4 would transcribe speech into text, losing much of the emotional and tonal information. Now, the new Omni model integrates these multi-model inputs, capturing the full context like the difference between texting and calling a friend. The development of GPT-4 lays the groundwork for future iterations like GPT-5 and beyond which are expected to further refine and expand the capabilities of language models, potentially incorporating more advanced features and even more sophisticated understanding and generation of human language. Overall, GPT-4 represents a substantial step forward in AI language models, combining enhanced understanding, multi-model capabilities, and practical applications that make it a valuable tool across various domains. This update is a significant advancement and it will be interesting to see how competitors like Google respond. Stay tuned for more updates and if you enjoyed this information, be sure to subscribe for future content.